on foul territory and joining us live right now freddie how you doing great to talk to you have you been watching the world baseball classic i'm doing good man yeah i've been watching it of course <laughs> your thoughts because yeah. the... why aren't you playing <laughs> first of all why aren't you playing and two do you miss not playing because you have to oh man i believe me i it's it been so hard for me like watching the games on the tv uh but it is what it is. There's nothing that I can do. Just support the guys watching it, and and I enjoy it. Uh, uh, they should play in a little bit. They should start the game, and let's see what I can do for watch a little bit of the today game. Nice. Hey, How you team? feeling though? Oh no, go ahead, Jonesy. No, say. How you feeling, big fella? After I mean, a uh, great 2021. Uh, you had some health issues in 2022. You're an athlete. Things happen. How you feeling now though? Ready going for 2023? uh you know uh, i'm feeling great uh you know more most important for me it was like how i gonna recover after after the, the issues that i had last year and it's been really good i've been recovering well and so i'm excited to see what's gonna happen in this uh, 2023 season and but most important to me like i said uh it's healthy and and i've been feeling great so far Freddie P, ¿cómo está? Oh, good, man. How about you? Good to see you. Hey, tú sabes, tú sabes. ¿Qué es esto? Barba. What's up with the beard, man? With the what? Your barba. Your beard. <laughs> wow, you right? <laughs> it's growing, man. I'm getting old. It's not no, 20, no, 21 anymore. No, you're always 21 in my heart. <laughs> I'm 26 now, man. Growing, you know, I like how I look like that. So... I have to keep it. Does, does everybody like it? Solo persona, solo uh, persona, yes. te gusta? Yes, yeah, they like. And most of the guys like my hair. I cannot cut it because they get mad with me if I do something with my hair. Wait, why? Your hair, so if, if you color it, who doesn't want you to, to dye your hair? Look, look, look. No, because they, they, they know me because I've always been, uh, I always have long hair since I was in the minors with the team. And and one time in 2020, before Kobe, I cut it. And there's no one that were happy about it. They all get mad with me. And, you know, I'm not going to cut it again because I know what's going to happen if I do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Freddie, you were known as uh, Fastball Freddy, right, when you first came up because you threw, like, 90% fastballs. Can we take that nickname away from you now? Because you're throwing a lot of sliders and curveballs and a bunch of junk now. He needs a you're like a junk game. baller now. But what's the nickname? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, hey, you know what? I, I like the nickname, but I knew that in some point it's going to change. It's going to happen. You know, this game is about adjustments. And I don't know, I know that more than everyone. It's about, it's about adjustment. And I cannot stay with Fuzz all the time. And now I've been, you know, making some little, uh, little, you know, adjustments. And now I have the slider, the change of the curveball, and all that. I had it before, but not as good as now. And, and you know, it's, I have to change. It's how it That's because nobody could hit your fastball. So you just reared back and just threw it. Like, nobody could hit it. You're like invisible. And there's two <laughs> versions. There were two versions. I know, but nobody could hit it. I know. Now he's full menu. Yeah, friends. well, you know, hitters yeah, make adjustments, friends. man. Full menu friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. Hey. Hitters make adjustments. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're dead right. Hey, Freddie, my first, my, your first base coach, QB, that's my best friend. So he wanted to tell me, he said, uh, tell him, you got to tell the story about how you made your major league debut on Mother's Day and how it was your mom's first time being able to see you play. Really? He told you that. What a guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I dig, man. So, it, it was awesome, man. It, like, it's hard to believe it. So I remember that I was in AAA. Uh, it was the, like, the first, uh, second month of the season, early. And my mom and dad, they never seen me before playing the majors, or even in the minors, too. So I wanted to, I wanted them to be, like, in some point, watching me playing. And my agent, uh, Jasser, he did a great job. He brought them, like... A day before, I remember it was Friday. They arrived Friday uh, at Colorado Springs, and I, I was supposed to pitch on Saturday uh, afternoon. So we were having lunch uh, in a in a restaurant, and I was excited to them to see me pitching uh, 
that night. And as soon as I get to the to the park, like uh, three three p.m., I was there, you know, thinking about them because I knew that it's gonna be the first time they they're gonna watch me playing. And like the game was supposed to be like a six six ten something like that. And I was getting ready like five something. And I remember Sweetie, uh, the manager came and he said, "Hey man, uh, you're not gonna pitch uh, tonight." And I was worried about like I wasn't thinking about about that I was probably going up or something. The team was in Colorado playing, so we, we were like an hour driving. Uh, and he said, you're going to pitch in the big leagues tomorrow. And I, I couldn't believe it. It was crazy. Uh, you know, the more exciting moment in my life. And I remember that I get to the stadium. There's some people waiting for me over there, like, how many tickets you need? And I was like, I couldn't believe it. They, they let my, my father get in there. Uh, Next day, you know, I was in the clubhouse. I couldn't believe it. And then the, uh, we went to the hotel. Next day, it was a Mother's Day, and I even didn't know. I get into the clubhouse. I see everything, like, pink, all the jerseys and all that stuff. And I was like, please, Mother's Day. Oh, my God, this is crazy. <laughs> and there's some of the guys that they let me wear some uh, clicks, like, pink clicks and all that. And, and and I remember it was crazy. I was so nervous before the the... the first pitch and then everything started from there like it was crazy for me uh, your mom have your jersey more exciting moment and you know happy happy about it your, your mom have your jersey did you give her your uh, jersey yes she were wearing a, I don't know how good question I don't know how she find that I don't know if somebody <laughs> gives her <laughs> this is the my sixth season and I haven't asked that I gotta ask her like how she get that and I see my dad too wearing a jersey. Now that, that you mentioned that, uh, <laughs> it came to my mind like how they wear jersey if they didn't have a jersey of the Brewers. Yeah. So good question. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of buying things, comprar. K Pierre, K Primero, la vaina para con, contracto para ti. What's the first thing you bought when you got your contract? Ah. Uh, Remember, it was during uh, after I signed my contract. Then the the COVID came. So, uh, but the first thing that I bought it was a, a Range Rover SBR. It was a car. Uh, that I because <laughs> I never had a car a car before. I had uh, just a you know renting and like that, and and I had a Camaro. And then I was like, I deserve something. And I went to the to the to the dealer and I got uh that car for me. Because before I bought my my mom house and all that, they were comfortable already. So I don't have to worry about all that stuff. And I have my, my own house too. So that's what I did with my with my contract. Because before I did before that, I had some the important things I did before the contract. Hey, on the contract, because we're actually going to talk to someone from your agency later, the COO, Chris Corris, he's joining us next. I remember when you were signing the extension with the Brewers, which has a few years left if they pick up the options, which, uh, duh, they should. Um, what was the thought process like for you? Because right now it's extension season. That's what we call it, right? Corbin Carroll signed a deal. Hebert Ruiz signed a big deal with the Nationals. This happens every year around this time, and I think it was around this time for you a few years back. So... What was the balance like for you between, holy shit, this is a lot of money, and I'm really good. <laughs> Should I wait and play it year to year? No, man. Uh, for me, since the moment that, that, that they offered me the extension and they let me know that something was going on, going on I knew that, that, I, that, it was, that was the moment for me to, you know, to take care of my family uh, and all that. Because I came from a family, you know, I came from from the bottom so it was a lot of money from me and i was thinking just about my family not even not even to me my family and and the future and all that and you know for me i just let them know you know they weren't happy about it the company weren't happy about it but i was trying my best like hey please let me do this because i know that that you can do better for me but i'm just thinking about my future family future and all that right now i don't know what can happen to me and because we never know but right now people may think that is is a terrible contract but for me 
I feel comfortable with it, and I ha I only have uh, this season and the next one. So uh, forget to the stage, uh, to the oceans, and then we can see what what's gonna happen next. But for me, I was happy about it. I don't know. They weren't comfortable with, but at the end of the day, uh, we we got a deal done. Dude, forget that. As long as you're comfortable, like get your first one, get your first contract. You're young enough to where you're gonna get another one, right? So yeah. Get your first yeah. one. Now, every young player needs to listen to what you just said. Like just because you're agent, we're gonna get to talk to Chris here in a little bit, but the mm -hmm. agent will say, "Yeah, we want you to get more." Yeah, but if you know they offer you a contract that sets you and your family up for life, and you're still young, take it. Like I, I, yes. I mean, as long as you're comfortable with it as a as yourself, right? So yes. good on you for, for for taking that and 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 getting your family set up for the rest of their life. So good, good for yeah. you. And I understand the point of, of, of the agency because they, they know what they do and you know, they knew uh, what I, how I can, you know, uh, they knew what, what can happen next. And right now it looks like, like I said, uh, there's some other contracts uh, that they probably bigger than mine. And, but by that time I was happy about it and I feel good about it too. I'm comfortable and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the game every day. Uh, and I feel good about it because I know what I did. I knew I did it because I wanted to do it. Hey, I was told this a long time ago. Do not turn away your first fortune. So you're smart. You can you set yourself up. People don't understand that where you come from, where, you know, this, this amount of money takes care of so many different things. So salute to you, brother. Hey, question. Thanks. The Corbin Burns situation with arbitration. How is that? How has that been around the clubhouse? How has he been around the clubhouse? I know he's a professional, but it's still it's still annoying. So how has he been? And who's who who, who walks around and saying they're the best pitchers on the Brewers? Uh what I can what I can say about it. Uh, you know, he's a professional guy, like you say. Uh, everything is normal. Like he looks normal in the clubhouse. I know that he's gonna do whatever he needs to do for for the team for his career. At the end of the day, you know, that's what we're looking for. Uh, have a, a great career, have win a World Series, and I know that he's going to do his best for, for that. And but other than that, I don't think that, that I don't know what happens in there. Uh, I haven't I haven't checked. I, I, don't, I don't try to look for it. And But I know I, I, one point that I can say to you is that that guy is always like playing with the heart, competing out there, and he always tries to do the best. Uh, he likes to keep the team in, like close to hand, and if we need something, so in some point, we just need to to get close to hand and ask him if we need to know something because that's what he does too. So he, if he needs to know something, he asks. And he's a great guy. I know that 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 little problem that happens, I don't know with the with the <laughs> with that with him, uh, it's not gonna affect us as a team. So I know that he's gonna do the best for the team. And and we're here for that, you know, for for play good, for have fun every day, and just enjoy the game and and do do our best all the time. Ready, P. Dos preguntas. Uh huh. Okay. Spanish and Spanish. Yeah. Wow. Tú sabes, necesito más plata de carta, sabes. Tú eres mi hijo, mi niño. Yep. Primera pregunta. ¿Qué es esto, Eddie Alvarez? Que Pantinar? Is it Pantinar? Patinar? Yeah, yeah, you're right. K K S S though. What what's up with the rollerblading with Eddie Alvarez? Did you like it? Uh yeah, you know what? You know you know how it's council, man. Council is a great guy, a great, great manager, and he always likes to keep like, you know, the clubhouse like with the good vibes. So so sometimes, you know, during during the spring meetings, he likes to brought like somebody he likes to he likes the players to meet or to pick somebody that we want to meet and and that guy i didn't know that i think most of the guys that didn't know have no idea that he uh how you say that in english patinar rollerblading okay that he does that and at some point he just say like hey we have a surprise for you guys and three two one he just can into the clubhouse. He started doing all that around. I was scared, man. I saw him like turning on those corners like crazy, and I was, God, what's gonna happen here? And we were having fun. We all like loved that moment. And he just told us like a little history about his life and and all that. 
but it was funny, man. It was kind of fun. I think I know that you were able to watch that uh, on Twitter or, or in social media, and it was an awesome moment. You know, it's it's part of the spring training too. Like have fun and meet the new guys. See, sí. otra pregunta. Yep. Let's talk about the other pitchers, okay? We got Corbin Burns, Woody, yep. Freddie P, Hauser, and Tu Papa. Way and who? Tu Papa, yeah. Tu Padre. <laughs> He's the hey. funniest guy ever, man. Tu right? <laughs> sabe, tu sabe. Hey, okay. quien mejor? Who's the best? But talking about, like, Who's the best as a what? As a teammate or what? Who's the best the pitcher? Best. The best pitcher. Tu sabe. Ah, uh, for me, man, it's, it's a hard question, brother. It's a hard question. Hopefully that you don't put me in problem with this. <laughs> 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 so for me, man, for me, being honest, I cannot lie to you. Best, for me, the best, uh, because I, I enjoy watching him since we were in the minors. He's, he's big Wood, Woody. So Woodrow for me is, I don't know, it's different. Like uh, I love, I enjoy to watch him playing and pitching on the mound. He's, he's, a, he's a different animal. He's hey, always best. say yourself, Freddie. You always say yourself, dude. You always, <laughs> no, no, yourself. You always I say yourself. I don't, I don't want to say that. I don't want to, I don't like, I don't like. So I know that I, I know what I can do and all that, but man, Burgie. Me, Woody, he's, he's, hey, he's Burgie's awesome. got a Cy Young, too. He's got a trophy that says he was the best. No, no, I mean, no, no. He might okay. be a little you bit say, like, hey, wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to be in problem. You see that you're going to be in problem with that question. That's, That's why you say problem, yourself. Man. That's why you say me. I'm Freddie P. Full menu Freddie. Freddie, Freddie. Yeah. Freddie oh, P. Gosh. Who are you most scared of to pitch against, though? Who Who are you? <laughs> if no, you're... scared. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm scared. No, 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 no. You, I, if you have to pitch against Woody, you have to pitch oh. against Bernsey hitting. That's why I think Big Woo's going to hit a home run off you. Yeah. Yeah. That you, and I think that you all know that. You see what happens <laughs> in, 20, in, 20, in 2018 uh, in the National League Championship against Kershaw. You see that, right? What happens? Who's sorry. He hit a homer, man. And, 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 and look what kind of game. It was it was unbelievable. So we were talking about that the other day. It was crazy. And he's he has a nice swing, great swing. Hey, I was wondering did, uh, when Miley over there. Have you sat in on any of his cow purchases? He sits over there on on, on online and watches uh, all the, the what they call them when they try everybody purchasing cows. I don't even know what the terminology. It's so foreign to me. The what? Sorry. When you buy auction, it's like right, right, an auction. auction. Right? He's on a he cattle goes, auction site yes. when he's still oh, he's, in the clubhouse. That's Crouchy. how you said. Yeah, he Crouchy. sits on a cattle auction site. How do you say cow? Yeah, in, uh, cow. Puede comprar comprar carne con con Way Miley in al tú sabes tú sabes en al uh, a la televisor. No no quiero comprar uh, comprar todo vacas todo vacas. <laughs> okay, comprar todo oh, vacas. Way Miley. Sí. Uh, we. Like the question is, if I have to go with him or what? No, but do you see him online? Like you see him? Oh, you, you no, see I that all, all, all the time. He's always on his phone online on on auctioning for I cows. Did, oh, look at that! I didn't know that about him. But you know what? You don't I care about baseball because he always on me. He always like trying to get me with something. So always. So I gonna that's good. That's good for me that you told me that because I didn't know about that. Now I'm gonna be on him trying to. To check all that and make him mad with me because he always hey, good in the car. They make you some sacocho, I mean, a bichuela, and you can make your car. Oh, carne. how you oh, know yes, that? I oh, mean, I played with Dominicans my whole life, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. No, it's awesome, man. I, I, I'm for sure that I know that you've been because you've been, uh, you had a Nelson Cruz as a teammate, right? And I team. Oh, Bobby yeah. Too. Oh yeah, had Vladdy as when I was so, young, so he come in every day, big old suitcase. Yeah, food. I know for sure. Oh yeah, I mean, he's been good for friends sure, with Poppy. So, I heard some oh, history yeah. about it. We've all had really good Latin food. I know that. Yeah. 
Awesome. Hey, Freddie, so two things to finish. One, how is Cratch's Spanish? Like, what's the grade for him? Because he, he says he's working on it because we're going to do a lot of interviews where he's going to do translating. No, he's good, man. I, I, I can understand him 100%, and I know that he's going to do a great job because when I met him, and like, how many years ago? Four, five? Four Six. years ago? No, four years ago, four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. He was trying by that time. He was trying, and I, I could understand him. So I, <laughs> so I bet you that if he's putting more emphasis on that, he's going to be better. And, and lastly, did we come up with a new nickname for you? Like, I, I agree. I don't think you should be. It was cool to be Fastball Freddy, but Full Menu Freddy. Can we sell Kitchen you on sink. that? <laughs> Kitchen Sink Because it's like, Freddy. yo, now I've got, wh what do you want it to be, Jonesy? Kitchen Sink Freddy. Kitchen oh, Sink Freddy. Cool. I'm just trying to do the alliteration where we get, the, like, the F and the F. Fastball Freddy was cool. So can we get, really? like, another F there? Full Menu, yeah. or you got anything else, or you like that one? No, I like that one. Because now he's throwing curveballs, change-ups, sliders, right. right? That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like Freddy 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's see what. Let's see how it goes. So uh, for me, I have no problem with that because I understand the point. I get the point that there's no fast or Fred anymore. So if the if the fans like, we can right, let's move from there. Let's take it. I love it. Let's like make it, it a thing. It, Full yeah. menu, Freddy. Hey, we're on every day, so we'll push it for you. Okay, yeah. we're Let starting the campaign. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're starting the campaign. We're on live every day, so we'll tell yeah, everyone. Yeah, He's I, full menu Freddy now. Yeah. Don't call him fastball Freddy. Look at his secondary <laughs> stuff. I agree with you. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, Freddie, this was awesome. It's, we're excited to have you on throughout the season, show off your vibrant personality, your, your fun as can be in this game. So thanks, uh, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to the next one, all right? Thank you, guys. All right, have a good day. You hey, too. Next time, next time, put your hair down, though. Put, put, pull the, <laughs> you want to see the Yeah, locks. I want to see the payload. Next time. Payload, okay, next time. so I, I'm going to do it for sure. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> have a good <laughs> one, Freddie. We'll see you soon.